beginning to contemplate what types of seeds I might plant this spring. Dear brother gave me this book called Seed to Seed. And while the book is 30 years old, the information in it is far older. And what it talks about is how to source the seeds from your garden and replant those the next year. And no doubt you could trade those with others. I've done a bit of that, um, but I need to start with heirloom seeds. And so that is something that I'm going to look forward to this year. Now, there's a lot more to think about than just the seeds, but as I contemplate this, and as it relates to today's devotional, I see so many parallels. And um, one of the things that is, is pretty obvious that if you plant Brussels, you will get Brussels. And so um, that seed has a particular type of characteristic to it. Uh, if you plant greens, you're going to get greens. And uh, if I was frustrated that my greens weren't more like my Brussels, somebody would think that I had lost it. And yet we seem to do that with our children. We don't really realize that God has gifted them in certain ways. So you might have a child that you think is very strong-willed. But what you may not see early on is that is going to give them persistence and endurance for the hard things. And so how do you take that gifted area, how do you take that characteristic and really begin to hone that, that it might glorify God? This is what it means to really parent, and it's a lot like being a husbandman. It's a lot like really gardening and taking care of the things that God has given us. You might have a child that, you know, you're thinking, man, they're very weepy. And you may not see that that is the fact that they are tender hearted. And so how do you nurture that and protect that to keep the enemy from really destroying that tender plant? This is uh, really the art of parenting. And so um, we're going to see that to really identify that we might need some tools to help us. And we're going to be talking about that a little bit later on. So you want to stay tuned. Uh, the other thing is, and I, I think that it's, it's good to have good advice. Individuals that have gone before us and have done that, they know what works and what doesn't work. And I would encourage each one of us to have a godly mentor in our lives. Somebody that is 10, 20 years ahead of us, not a a uh, social media influencer that is a year ahead of you and is doing things for clicks, things that are trendy, but someone that is tried and true. And that's what we see here. The other thing is that uh, we're, we're going to want to know in what areas do my children struggle so I can be there to really encourage their growth, their spiritual growth. Well, if you have a garden, you have a tendency to look at it daily to see what's going on. And this past summer, I had squirrels, and I had rabbits, and I had ants, and I had gnats, and I had just everything seemed to, uh, to come after it. Aphids. The sun at some point was too hot. Uh, there was other times it wasn't getting enough water. And so just constantly tending to that. And uh, in the world that we live in today, that our children, actually, there's a lot of pestilence out there. A lot of things that want to attack their soul and so we need to monitor that you know how much social media what are those social media influences what are the actual influences in their lives you know there was a time period that people thought if i took my kids to church that was enough i think that people now realize that um, that was a that was a fallacy i need to as i tend a garden i need to tend their spirit on a daily basis i need to watch that i need to Pray without ceasing when it comes to my children. And lastly is there's going to be a bit of pruning. And so um, I know that for most parents, discipline is one of these very, very difficult things. And um, uh, it is something that needs to be done in love. It's something that needs to be done prayerfully. And it's something that needs to do be done very tenderly that you might encourage the kind of growth that... Uh, is going to bring glory to God. 
Now, one of the aids that was helpful to me was the book Family by the Book. And uh, the book was referenced to the Bible. And that was just like the seed book. That was a book that um, uh, now is older, but it has even older information in a very, very timely truths, though, that uh, we're going to find that are just rock solid. And so uh, hopefully you can uh, you can source that book, Family by the Book. Um, in the devotional today, it is chock full of scriptures, and I will put this in the description below. This video in no way is comprehensive about how to raise your children, but maybe just an encouragement to really nurture them and, uh, and, and see them as these beautiful seeds that God has given us that we might raise up, that they might be fruitful unto him. May God bless you, and thank you so much for tuning in.